is hold on a second y'all I want to get, get into this stock right quick today is Monday March 20th 2023 I'm trying to get into the stock here I'm trying my strategy out I used to use years ago and I might have went a little too low Hold on. Why did it went a little too low? Uh, Monday, March 20th, 2023. Uh, this is day 51 of the $100 account challenge. Now, I usually don't trade this early because it's only 8.34 in the morning. Let me go back a little bit. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving anyone financial advice. I'm just a guy on the internet who trades stocks and trying to show you a way to make some money with a small account so do your own due diligence and watch what you do I mean at 350 um, uh, hold on yo one cent will be only right there on the stock this cheap one cent uh, 18.50 so check this out so um, so back in the day I used to trade stocks using only three indicators and that was my VWAP my EMA and uh, well, four indicators: my VWAP, my SMA, my MACD, and my RSI. Sometimes you got to go back to the basics. And uh, hold on. I might have bought it a little too late. You got to go back to the basics and, and do what works. Uh, so here I am trying this old strategy. Now usually I wouldn't buy a stock this cheap, but I'd rather buy one this cheap and uh, test it than buy a more expensive stock and test it and it doesn't work. But I'm pretty sure it's going to work. But I bought it way too late. I should have bought it way back here, but I wasn't really trading that early. Or I could have bought it up here at 740. Uh, I'm trying to get on a 17 cent stock, you know, 10% is only 1.7 cent. In this case, I take it to almost 19 cent. That's technically 10%. So I'm trying to see something right quick and see if it's going to work. I might have bought it, like I said, a little too late, but testing sometimes you, uh, you may or may not uh, take a loss. But we're going to see for a minute. I'm going to leave it there for right now. I don't have many shares. I had 65 bucks this morning to trade. And then I bought uh, 350 shares. Now technically I can... I'm going to hold off. Let me go over here. Uh, so all... A-L-L-R. All the stocks this morning that um, are leading gappers tend to be, hold on, tend to be less than a dollar. So this morning it's going to be kind of weird. Like I got ALLR, I got Box D, LYLT, Box D. I got a better idea. I'm gonna see something. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, I got an idea. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to do two different stocks. 
Where's the MACD and the RSI? I'm gonna do two different stocks, right? Uh, hold on. That should be lower. Apply. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna do two different stocks. One I'm gonna do using my EMA strategy or simple means reversion strategy. Then the other side, I'm gonna use my simple trading method. Both gonna be the same stock, and see which one works best for me. Then I'm gonna go down here. Next stock I'm gonna add is gonna be uh, Box D. This is gonna be my. Um, At uh, that ain't what I want it. Yeah, box D. It's a little too busy for me right here. Got way too many. You see it all live as I'm trying to figure this out. I should have probably um probably should have um there we go. I probably should have labeled it better than what I did. Then over here I'm gonna put the other box D. Now, I'm going to watch it for a second and see which one is better. But I'm already in ALLR. So ALLR, according to my EMA crossover, is telling me get ready for this red to green move. Now, I will look over on my ALLR on my simple trading strategy. It's telling me also prepare for a crossover. Let's see what we're doing right here. At 17. I mean, a 17 1. I want 18 5. It should be the top of the previous high. Okay, here go the leading gappers, though. <clears throat> ALR, Box D, LYL, T, G, T, R. So, the top four are less than one, $1. Then you get to the fifth one. We had Don 38, and number six is at. Uh, less than a dollar. So, basically, all leading gappers are less than a dollar. Now, you don't buy until uh, eight twenty or nine twenty-five. But I'm trying the strategy out, and sometimes they tell me to buy earlier than I want to. But I'm going to watch it for a minute and see what happens. NYC
so back to what I was saying. Uh, I bought this um. A L L R. Way too late in the game. But I was messing around this morning. I should have bought it back here. But this channel here seems to be where it's going to stay at. So right now it's looking like Box D is getting ready to become a buy. So if you want to buy cheap stocks, Box D will be one to buy at about 1580. Well, 0.158. So again, I should have bought it back here or here. Or well, even here, I bought it way too late. We got a red, uh, green to green move right here on box D. I don't like this strategy right here. I don't, this ain't the right thing I'm looking for. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. We can watch for a minute. If you notice. On ALLR, it's been in channel the whole morning. So, if it breaks this channel, we hit new high of day. And we should right here. My EMA, sorry, my VWAP, and my uh, SMA is banging each other on the ALLR. They're going in parallel. I think I'm down like one. One 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 cent, which one cent on three hundred fifty shares is almost four bucks. See, so it popped seventeen a couple times, but need to go way beyond that. Look down here in the five on the one minute chart, we had a bullish green move, and if you look down here in the fifteen minute chart, we recovering. So those two are saying we recovering. Under oversold. Parallel. look here it's none to borrow so that always is an indicator that you can make a move to the upside if it's hard to borrow that's different you could pay a B a fee HTB and if it's ETB easy to borrow that mean that thing can can dump at any moment see what I saying earlier let's move to the buy Let's watch it for a second. Let me go over here. I see you making your money, Kunta. I see you, player. If you notice also, I didn't check for news or nothing. I just bought it. If you look here, you'll see it has news. That was the move this morning. Uh -oh, down here, does this have news? No news. I just looked at the pattern I like to trade, and I bought the pattern. I didn't even check the news. That's support. That's resistance. This is the next support resistance. So right now we're hovering around the second support. We popped this 18. We got room to run to a high of day.
we at? Is that 16 cents still? Yeah. I'm watching something else on my other computer, so I'm not really watching the screen. Remember the bottom right on box D? I said the buy-in point was 15.8.158. And we're we moving towards it right now. You see, uh, A L L R. It wants to pop this channel, but it's just messing around right now. That's why I really don't buy cheap stocks because they take forever to move sometimes. But this morning, it's testing the strategy. Uh, it happens sometimes. I'd rather buy a cheaper one anyway. Now, a bigger one move faster, of course, because it's a larger you know, price. But 
this thing is just dragging, 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 but it's supposed to cross over right here. Look at the bottom right. Our price is almost hit. I was telling you it was the buy in point approaching, and there it is right there. Box D, there is my buy-in point, it's right there. I got 50 box D. Let me go box D. I'll leave that sale order there. Box D. My buying point just, just crossed. Real close. Yeah, it's crossed a buying point. Uh, that's only five bucks. I can't buy many shares for five bucks, man. So thirty eight shares. About thirty seven shares. Right there. Yeah, I'm taking it up for fifteen twenty one. Let me put it at 
Okay. It's 9.01. What we got going on? My sale orders are still sitting there, both on ALLR and Box D. What's popped up besides those two? INVO. Let me uh, put INVO right here for a second. That's a good move on INVO. I text you in the group to INVO. Watch this uh, ALLR pop in a second. As well as this uh, box D. <clears throat> LLR has a a nine million share of float. Box D has a sixty one million share of float. So, ALR, 9 million share float. Box D, 61 million, 62 million, we're going to say share float. I'm green right now on uh, Box D, but I wanted to move some more. I was green. Uh, What do INVO have? This is a quick scalp melter I was talking about. How it pops up on one candle, you wait to a pullback, a low number like 90 or 85, and you buy it for a quick pop back up. Watch. But it must be on the same candle. It can't be on the second candle. Second candle usually fails. Let's see what happens right here. That's one of those ones that pop in out of nowhere. You hop in that same candle, trade it, and get out of it. <clears throat> That's what the scanner is for. The scanners pop up, you check it out, you hop in it, get out of it, same candle. It's probably had some news came in or something. Yeah. Call it the news candle order. The quick uh, pullback, up, or I forgot what I called it, quick pullback or the pullback strategy or something like that.
Okay. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. This video is at 40 something minutes, I think. I don't want to make an hour long video, but I and just end up made doing that. See what I'm saying? Second candle ain't doing much. It's 17, that wasn't enough. I need 18.50. There we go, 94 cent. So if you got in back here at the 89.90 mark, quick five cent. It's 95 basically. But second candle isn't as powerful as the first candle. Let me go to one minute chart. Check show you what I'm talking about. See here? First candle popped up. Second candle. And it failed the rest of the one minute candles. Right? Do, 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 do. 909 and 38 seconds. What else popped up? Anything else? Nope. I think it's still hovering around where I bought it. Yeah. Next outlet is right here. Next high. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. What are we doing here? That's a reversal signal? Look like it. Let me go up here to my trade display. Simple trading method. Did I already say this already? 
I think I did, right? I remember being so busy this morning. I think I traded it. I saved it. But if I didn't save it, it's going to save now. Okay, we need to cross over right here. The VWAP is wait. See, look right here on box D. The VWAP is 1630. My sale order is right above the VWAP. Now we know by now the stock is going to retrace. Hit the BWAP, over, oversold, hit the BWAP, extend, overbought, right? You notice back here, yesterday and today, only one time today, it has been overbought. That's the buy candle right there. That's the buy candle right there. We should run right here. Just the buy candle. I'm referring to A L L R. Nine fifteen almost. What else popped up besides the? See, what I'm saying about this INVO, you had that first candle, and that was it. I go to restaurant.
what we got going on still? Let's see. We have eight minutes to the bail. Need one of my two cheap stocks moving too much. I'm down 20 cent in one. I'm down, I don't know, 30 cent in the other. I don't know. Not 30 cent. I'm down 0.2 cent in one. And I'm down 0.3 cent in the other. A L L R box D. Uh, L Y L T. Bunch of cheap stocks this morning. I'll tell you that. ESPR LFCR It's spring again. Everybody knows it's spring again. First day of spring today. Let's see. That's my bike candle right there. Why well, haven't we first yet? The struggle of buying cheap stocks like that. Target two dollar price target, eight nineteen a.m. We almost there already. Let me go over here for a minute. See what you got going on. Down twelve cent. My sale order is right here at point one six five, which would be thirteen cent or uh, eight and a half percent. Then I'm gonna go to my. A L L R. I think I'm down three dollars in that. Yep. My sale target is at eighteen five, which would be fifteen cent. Again, eight percent as well. It's nine twenty six. This one I would usually log on anyway to try to find the buy target. You see, it's banging this 
SMA VWAP rather. This black line here on my screen is the VWAP. Been banging it all since I logged on at eight o'clock. Eight ten on, been banging it the whole time. Once or twice, it extended away from it. So I needed to blow through it, hit my high, get me out of it. On to the next. But again, I bought it way too late. I N M. Like I N M? I should have bought it right here. Actually, I should have bought it way back here again. I N M. Yeah. 851. I could have bought it at 851. Yep. Which was right here. Hmm. Yep, could have bought it right here. First candle kind of blows through the BWAP, stays above BWAP. Could have ran it up six, seven cents. Not much. We got two minutes to the bell. I'm gonna let these two ride. I'm not gonna even change them out. I'm gonna leave them where they at. Let them ride. That's my ALLR and my box D. Here come my box D. I'm greening that one right now. And my ALLR. About to cross over as well. Be greening that one too. I'll be out. Let's watch. I'm not going to touch nothing. Let it ride. If I get in the video in five minutes, then I will. I don't want to have a two hour long video around here. I'm already pushing the hour. We got 30 seconds to the bell. I'm going to leave it here on ALLR. Not touching nothing. I'm gonna go over to my larger account and look for some buys while I'm watching this go. NYCB. NYCB. Let's see.
Oh yeah. Fox D. Thirty million share float. L Y L T. Make some money on L Y L T. All these cheap stocks, man. I don't like this at all. I'm in the video at uh, 9:40 latest because I it's gonna be over an hour. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna hold this stock for a second. NYCB, a lot of cheap stocks, man. This is crazy this morning. A lot of cheap stocks. I called it this morning. Watch for the pump and dumps. A lot of cheap stocks. ETBT. Look at these stocks over here, man. This is crazy. None of these stocks were for day. LYLT still going, though. I'm already creating that one already. In my large account. A box D and AALR in my small account. I'm going to let them ride for a minute for sure. NYCBC, another one, another cheap one. C I B I O C. Like, come on, dude, what are we doing this morning? Another cheap one. I N V O. All these sub one, all these sub one dollar stocks. G E T R. Like, come on, what are we doing? U F A B. What a tra trash morning. Meanwhile, L Y L T just popped a hundred percent. With no news. Wait, what's this? Yeah, with no news. Telecommunications. With no news. 100%. 110% and going. This is dumped with news. Mind blowing. Yet again, another day of foolishness. Market manipulation at its finest. Nobody can tell me different. End the video in three minutes. I'm gonna hold a little while longer. I see how it's pumping through this support, but it's not making it. It's not making the. Let me, let me go backwards. It's not leaving a strong candle beneath support, so it's not telling me it's about to fail. Let's go over here for a second. LFCR still going. Ah. 
what a weird, it's been a weird, man. The market is not making any sense at all of what's going on in here. It's going to be plenty of lawsuits coming through. Watch. W. We got 20 seconds, or 40 seconds left before I end this video. Box D about to recover. This one should have been recovered by now. Meanwhile, LFCR have only 900,000 shares traded, yet this thing is up like that. All right, it's 949 in any video. I'll post later on where I sell at. But I ain't sold nothing yet. You see, I said we're still sitting there and here. Uh, stay green. Don't be greedy.